Yeah, so growing up, I was never a gearhead. I, um, uh, I always admired those guys that could look at the front of a car and tell you exactly what year it was or what type it was, and I was never that guy. And to be honest with you, I'm still not that guy. My love for cars was just uh, about the way they looked, the way they sounded, and, and for me, the old style cars, the old Fords, it was just the way it looked, it just made me be inspired of that particular style of cars. It's a 33 Ford replica, so it is a kit car. I purchased the car back in 2017 as a kit. It came to me in 30 boxes, over 3,500 pieces, 11 raw fiberglass body panels that were gel coated. Uh, it essentially comes with everything you need with the exception of the engine, the transmission, the wheels and the tires. So it is a, uh, a Ford 302 um, engine, small block, just north of about 350 horsepower. It's got a Holley Sniper EFI. Uh, Kragers, Krager SS's, a lot of people say these aren't the real Kragers. Well, they came from Krager and they're the new brand Krager SS's. I run Willwood uh, drilled and slotted brakes. It's got the custom exhaust tips. It was one of the things that I really liked about the kit is the ability to be able to change things and make it your own. Biggest challenge for me looking back was I was really concerned about doing the wiring. There's over a mile and a half of wiring in this thing. You do get a Ron Francis uh, wiring chass chassis and uh, so that was a big concern of mine. So what I ended up doing was doing all the wiring, checking it as best I could and then I had somebody else follow me through too to make sure that everything was, was where it needed to be and, and was safe. Hold is down, kick is up and it is good! Somehow, some way, the Cowboys. For me, I've been a Cowboys fan. I've lived, I was born and raised here in Fort Worth, Texas, been here all my life, been a Cowboys fan since I was seven, eight years old. And uh, it's always been a driving inspiration to me. Uh, my parents uh, were divorced when I was younger, and so, you know, I, I, Randy White, the offensive defensive line, you know, back in those years, they were the men of the house for me on Sunday. I was, I was glued to the TV. So I've come full gamut, you know. I haven't been around the whole entire time that the Cowboys have been around, uh, but since I was probably seven, eight years old, I've been, so about 43 years now, I've been a Cowboys fan. I just knew that I needed something with this build to help me drive and kind of theme it through. I've seen a lot of vehicles that were done as tribute vehicles that have coaches airbrush, players airbrush. And to me, my, my opinion only, they, they got a little gaudy sometimes. I wanted this to be something that everybody knew when they saw it come around the corner was, was a Cowboys vehicle. But what you'll notice is that there's nothing that says Cowboys on this car. In December of 2020, Randy White, uh, former Dallas Cowboy, Hall of Famer, and uh, he actually became the first player to sign the dash of the car. And so from that point, it has just grown. Since then, there's been 47 players total to sign. Uh, if I can get the numbers correct, there's 93 Pro Bowlers, uh, have the Pro Bowl appearances. There's uh, seven Hall of Famers that have signed, and there's uh, 53 Super Bowl championships between all the players who've been on there. Regarding more so of what the what the car is and, and my personal goals, I've uh, I've reached out for four years straight now trying to get uh, the Jones family to sign the top of that dash sitting over there. It's waiting for them, and uh, I haven't had any luck so far. Uh, but I'm hopeful. I'm still hopeful that one of these days I'm gonna I'm gonna catch Jerry at the right moment and and he's gonna add his signature along with Steve and Charlotte um, onto that car. I'm kind of the front man for the car, so uh, I get the questions, I get the, uh, the criticism, everything. But I think it's important to, uh, to state that there are a lot of people, a lot of, a lot of friends, family, even companies as well. I mean, when I'm talking about like 121 Rod and Restoration, uh, doing the final fit up on the, on the body. Uh, this was my build. I did the majority of it, but I don't want to leave those people out. I had friends from work come over and help me drop the engine in. Um, I'd never dropped an engine in before. So there are a lot of people that I had to reach out to because I either didn't have the knowledge or wasn't experienced enough to have those people here so that I could lean on them during the process. And uh, I don't want them to, to feel like that they were ever slighted. It, that, that was never the intent. It's my build. I built the car, 
but there's so many people that went into the effort on this car that it's just, for me to try to list all those people, it's, it, it, it would take, we'd be here all day long, so.